What's up everybody, Big John. This is the final video on this Iron Man. Um, you guys know I'm pretty brutally honest. Um, the first time I did this, the it didn't hold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now that it's lined up. But if you can see right here is how bad that spine roll actually was. So, and you can see the staples are still attached. So now what we're going to do is it's, it's got a lot of wrinkle to it. You can see that doesn't really need cleaned, maybe a little bit right here. Um, I'm not really going to mess with it anymore. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and, and press this and get everything out. So what I had to do was, is I did the extra steps, right? Um, I said, sometimes you might have to press it and then turn it over and do it from the other side. Um, well, that's what I had to do. And as you can see, the staples are still attached firmly. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I've already turned my press on. We're gonna back this off. And then now we're gonna just do it our normal way. So we're just gonna put our boards in, uh, shiny side up. Then we're going to do shiny side down. As we do this one, we're going to go ahead and turn our steamer on, which is off camera. Sorry about that. And again, we're going to do shiny side down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to add quite a bit of moisture to this, uh, to the front, especially since it is so wrinkled. Um, I wasn't really going to use chaffer boards on this. I think three magazine boards will be fine. So we got our press set up here. We need to go ahead and put a board on the bottom here, shiny side up. We don't want any imperfections getting on our book. Even though I, I clean my board, my uh, my surfaces of my press daily. So we got that ready to go. Temperature set up. Steam is coming out. So we're going to give this quite a bit of steam. Let me turn the camera toward the steamer here if I can. Um, I believe we're on it. There we go. So now we're just going to add some steam. The only thing in my steamer is distilled water. I did a review on the steamer that I'm using. I will never go back to another steamer. Uh, this one, it's, um, it, you can move it. It also is insulated. The actual line coming up to the steamer is insulated. So I won't have, I don't have to worry about, uh, spitting. So we're going to get good steam on the cover here because it was real wrinkly, which generally happens when you refold a book. We're just going to go kind of slow. You guys have seen me do this plenty of times. So that should be about good. Three, four passes on the cover. And now I'm going to show you. We're going to set it all up here. Get it all set up. Sorry, I don't want nobody to get motion sickness. So now we're going to go ahead and set this carefully. Then we're going to grab... Our big non-stick sheet, we're going to set it on top here. Then we're going to take our other board. I have another, I hope I have another magazine board. We're going to push it all the way to the back and slide it forward. That way we're pretty much guaranteed it keeps the comic flat. My metal plate moved a little bit, no big 
deal. We're going to take another non-stick sheet. Our thin metal plates, which is what's on top and the bottom there. Set this on there. Then we're going to take our last non-stick sheet here. Set it on the top. And we're going to close it down. There should be no pressure, hardly at all. So we're going to loosen it completely up. Lower it. Tighten it down. I loosened it a little too much. Perfect. Not too tight. Not too loose. So we're going to let this run its cycle. 550 seconds at 164 degrees. And um, I will basically uh, do a quick video on the finished product. Okay? So for uh, this is it for this uh the way I do it, so you don't pop the staples on a book that has a really bad spine roll or any spine roll for that matter. Um, my my next lesson advanced will be on how to get the bend out of the cover near the spine when people stack their books on top of each other and you get that little end in, that little roll inside like that. Um, that will be the next lesson on how to get that out um, and have it stay out. Just to let everyone know that after this comes out of here, I will leave this in there until probably Monday. And then on Monday, I will transfer it to my stainless steel table and I will put weight on top of the acrylic plate and I will leave it go for at least a week to make sure that the paper fiber itself has been retrained to its new form. For the Comic Book Underground, I am Big John. And I'm out.